Hi, this is Tanner from electronics123.com. Last month I showed hobbyists how to do basic soldering, and this month I want to go over the basic functionalities and uses of a multimeter. One of the most common uses for a multimeter is to check voltages. To do this, we select the V on the turn knob and make sure, for this case, because we're using a DC power supply, to switch the function to DC. Connect the positive probe or the red probe to the positive, and we're reading 9.24 volts out of this 9 volt battery. Another common use is to check resistance. To do this, we select ohms on the turn dial. You can see that the ohm symbol here. And this can be used for two different things. Um, one is to check the resistance of a resistor. And this one is reading about 0 .322. It's actually a 330 ohm resistor. The other thing we can check with this is how good a connection we have. Um, here, whether probes are not connected, you'll see that we have this this number which is basically reading an infinite number of uh, ohms. If we touch the two together you can see we get zero. Basically this is telling us that now we have a really bad connection and when they're together we have a really good connection. This is a good way to test switches or to make sure that current's getting to where it needs to go. Multimeters can also be used to measure amps or the amount of current that something is requires to operate. In order to do this, you'll have to usually change the position of the probes and where they're connected. In this case, I had to move the positive from the input to the 10 amp connection. Here I have a basic circuit set up where a power supply, the power that comes in on these two probes, causes this LED to light up. To check the amount of current that this LED requires to light, I can run the power through the multimeter before it reaches the LED. In order to do this, I'll connect the positive probe on the multimeter to the negative lead on the LED. By selecting amps on the multimeter, we'll prepare it to accept the amp reading. Now by connecting the negative power supply to the negative probe on the multimeter, the LED will light And you'll see I'm not getting a reading. The reason for this is because I have it set to do AC. Change the function to DC. Try it again. And we're getting about 0 .007 amps uh, that is required to run this LED. And this has kind of been a basic overview of multimeters. Um, there, some multimeters have more or less functions and um, it can't possibly go over all of them now, but the basic and most important functions are volts, ohms, and amps.